easy as that. Games. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you guys have just seen me make in that little intro there, I've just made my staple meal. The staple meal of the channel is a packet rice, a tin of beans and a tin of tuna. It doesn't look like a lot but the rice and the uh, beans are kind of covering the tuna so do not worry there is a good amount of protein in this meal. So as you guys can see by the title today is going to be another Q&A with LSJ. The reason for that is because the Amsterdam video is going to take a hell of a lot longer than I thought and I've got dissertation deadlines, I've got PT deadlines, all that kind of stuff. So I want to give that the amount of time that it deserves to make it a good enough video. So today it's just going to be a quick Q&A going around about through my day. I'm going to enjoy this meal and I'll catch up with you guys in the rest of the video. Right, okay. Question one. I'm just getting ready for the gym. Question one was actually asked by a couple of people, and that is, did I train in Amsterdam? The simple answer is no. I uh, was only there for three days, and that, uh, Amsterdam's a big place. There's a lot of stuff to do, and you know, all kinds of stuff that you can do. I can train at any time. I can't go to Amsterdam any time, and so, I always emphasize, I try and emphasize anyway, that the, the gym is a part of my life, it is not my life, you know, it's not everything, my, my life doesn't revolve around the gym, it's just I fit it in as often as, and as much as I can, purely because it's my favorite thing to do. But what I wouldn't recommend you guys do is sort of, if you go away like I did for a couple of days, then think, oh god, I can't miss this one session, I can't miss this, I can't miss that. See, like, right now I'm, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It's leg day today, so, you know, I'm making up for missed time now. But the time, that the, the very short time that I had in Amsterdam, I was not going to spend in the gym. It's just too precious of a time to, to not waste in a gym, because the time in the gym should never be called a waste. But it's just time that I would not want to spend, I'd rather spend that time those three days making memories rather than just making a little bit more gains like hope that makes sense but anyway I'm heading to the gym now it's leg day and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to do because my shoulder is killing me so I can't really reach behind there I might have to switch to a front squat or just I don't know do some isolations and stuff like that so I'll see you guys at the gym Just finished up a solid leg day. I didn't actually get the chance to speak to you guys whilst I was at the gym, but that was because there was a whole new layout and basically with the new layout, if it's busy in the section that you're in, uh, you're f***ed. So um, the next question was gonna be, hold on while I get my key. The next question is actually from Cam the Cameraman. So, oh, And that, question is when are the joggers releasing um if you guys have been following for a while i've been wearing these for about the past four or five months at least and um nobody has actually got a pair but me been delayed for many 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 reasons hello but those reasons are i mean to be honest guys it's it's it's, it's my fault like for some reason some part of me thought that you know the supplier wouldn't close for christmas bear in mind that this is just an, a, a genuinely nice old bloke who runs his own business who you know supplies the clothes for me um of course he was going to close for christmas you know it's christmas time he wants to spend some time with his wife and his family and all that kind of stuff and for some reason that didn't cross my mind and so everything got delayed because of that and then i went to amsterdam and then you know lots of different things and I've done pre-orders as well and so you know I have actually spoken I'm in talks with the supplier now to get an order sorted but that is actually going to take a little bit longer than I thought so to be honest with you I, I, I still don't know as bad as it sounds I still don't know when I mean obviously I want to get them out soon because I still got a few hoodies to shift as you guys can see there and um, some of the joggers as well that have already been pre-ordered so I want to get them out as soon as possible, but an exact date, I don't know. You'll just have to follow my Instagram. That'll be the best place to get updates. Next question is from my boy, Joe 
Gray. And he has actually a couple of questions, so I've got them on my phone right here. Did you guys have a good time in Amsterdam? Yes, it was amazing. Stay tuned for that video. Do you have any future goals or plans to improve the home gym? Yes. I don't know what they are yet because we're going to have to do it sort of, we're going to have to prioritise sort of the order because obviously, as you know yourself, Joe, because Joe has a, uh, a home gym himself, it all costs money and so we have to sort of prioritise what we want first. Um, and what do you think the benefits and negatives are of work, working out in a home gym? A def the biggest benefit it, for me is having your own space, being able to record because obviously that's a big, big deal for someone like me who posts videos on social media and Instagram and in, well, just social media in general, that's, that's a big deal for someone like me. But another thing is not having to ask how many sets you got left, bro? How many, like, how many this, how many that? You can just do, you can stick to your routine and stick to that clean, simple, structured, progressive overload and make gains in the easiest way possible because there's no, gonna be no variables. This, that's your place to go and train and you know, it's yours and that, for me anyway gives me a bit of a boost when i go in there anyway knowing that you know this is mine like this is you know this is really cool like uh, it's really cool that i'm in here rather than it being just like yeah yeah my, my gym's all right sort of thing and uh again joe i know you know that yourself i know that you love your home gym just as much as i love mine so uh yeah cheers for the questions mate i appreciate that so some of you if you are really loyal to the channel like are really really loyal will know that this video normally would have gone up at 8.30 in the morning on Sunday. So obviously th today is Sunday if you're watching this on the day that it comes out. Um, but it is up later on. That is because I have a couple of questions about nights out and we are heading out tonight. It is Saturday night here at the current time of filming. So I'm going to show you and hopefully answer those questions if I don't get too drunk on the night out. So that is the reason right now I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> The next question was gonna be answered whilst I was drinking because it's about drinking, but it was a little bit, a little bit of a write-off, shall we say. So, um, yeah, that's why this video is up on Monday. Oops. So basically what the question was and why I thought it would be appropriate to answer it whilst I'm drinking would be that I could show you exactly what I do, but that just didn't happen Let's leave that there. The question was, with you being a student, I'm sure you do a lot of drinking. Yes, I do. How do you think alcohol affects your goals and training? And the, well, I thought it would be good to explain this throughout the, the process of doing it by explaining the drinks I was having and why I was having them and all that kind of stuff. I have a really good answer prepared. It just didn't work out that way. Sometimes, sometimes it's just best to leave it. What I would say, is that I don't really let it affect what I'm doing. Purely for the reason that I, I'm a student who has been a student for, well this is my third year now. So I've kind of mastered the fact that I have to have that balance. I mean, don't get me wrong, this time I got that balance wrong because I had too much work and then just went out drinking and it went too far and the next day was a complete and utter just no go but anyway we all make mistakes and this is a learning process and that's hopefully what i can show you throughout these videos at the same time so this <laughs> this hopefully will not be happening again anytime soon but when i say i do not let it affect me that is because i follow i kind of invented this like acronym this little five step principle to keeping on track with your goals when you are drinking and everything like that so I, it's called tread i call it the tread acronym or the tread sort of the tread principle let's let's say the t stands for train so make sure you train on the day of going out and i did that and you guys saw that in the video a little bit earlier the r stands for reduce so reduce your calorie intake preferably from carbs and fats keep that protein intake high throughout the day as well e stands for eat eat something that you're going to enjoy and eat something that's going to satisfy you before you go out so you don't want to just pick out on that chip shop or the kebab or the pizza the temptations that we all know are there after the night out is done as well a stands for appreciate and this is the one that i think is probably the most important value because i'm going to go all cliche and stuff like that on you guys right now but we only get a very very small time on this earth right we get we get one life let's make the most of it so just take a minute while you're there on the night out to appreciate the fact that you know you're having a good time with your friends you're having a good time with your family or, or your loved ones or whoever you out with just take that time and just appreciate the night out the last letter is d and that stands for damage control and what i mean by that is come back and drink 
as much water as you possibly can. I normally drink at least three, maybe sometimes four of these before I even go to sleep. That is just gonna sort of level out the amount of alcohol with water and help you flush it out by the next morning, help reduce that hangover, reduce that headache, and help you be active the next day as well. So that is how I kind of stay on track with drinking and having a social life and still getting work done and still staying on track with the gym and everything like that. I also planned a, an off day. I planned an off day for New Year's Day. I know that's kind of counterproductive, New Year, New Me and all that kind of stuff, but I knew that New Year's Day, like the other day, was going to be a write-off. And so that, for me, meant that I had to schedule an off day into my training program, which you can do. And if you do have any trouble with that, then you can contact me. I am an online coach, and so I can actually help you in that, in that aspect, especially with your training, finding that balance that's best for you. So that would definitely be the next piece of advice. Try and schedule off days. Like, I train five days a week right now. I would love, 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 love to train six days a week. If I'd train seven days a week if I could. But obviously, as we know, there's lots of detrimental things that can happen if you do that rather than benefits but anyway um, that's for another, that's a topic for another video but I train five days a week because that is going to be the most uh, what's the word or well, probably the most productive the most sort of efficient way for me to train because it means that I can have that social life I can have I can get my uni work done I can get my PT work done I can get anything that I want done and still have the time for the gym and the time to go out and have a social life and everything like that as well. Five times a week means I can go out probably two days a week and then have those rest days scheduled around that. So that would be another tip. Schedule your rest days around your nights out if you can. So that is going to be it guys. That is going to conclude today's Q&A with LSJ. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, sorry if we didn't get to answer your question. I know I've kind of rambled on the questions that I'm doing. Instead of doing short, snappy, sharp answers, I've kind of done like more in-depth, detailed answers like I did just then. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And by the way, shout out to my flatmate Izzy for um, asking whether I name my muscles. Um, no. no. No, I don't. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.